Nelson is the greatest pet I've ever had. I've lived with a lot of cats and he has so much personality and is really sweet. When I moved into my apartment senior year of college, I started going through Pet Finder and I kept seeing the same cat come up and I was like, yeah, I think it's a sign I should go see this cat. So I brought a couple friends and we took two trains and then a bus and blah, blah, blah. and we get to this woman's apartment and she has six or seven cats in a two bedroom apartment and there's a big alpha male panther looking black cat in the foyer and sort of amidst all this in the back of a closet is Nelson, the tuxedo cat. He had come from this hoarder house where there were, you know, 40 plus cats. That situation had made him not the friendliest cat because he was so terrified all the time. Hey, buddy. How are you feeling? When she said, are you sure you want to take him? I felt like, it, you know, if I left, that cat would just be stuck there forever. Ultimately, I gambled on a cat that hadn't had the time and care to really be able to heal from a really traumatic childhood. But you just saw the shift really dramatically over the years. Just a total 180 into a completely different cat. And, you know, there are so many things to love about Nelson. He has a really great personality. Everyone that's ever lived with him has been in love with him. He's just a pretty popular, cool dude. When you think about it, the way that shelters work, and it's not their fault, is they're just kind of not hospitable environments. So any kind of living creature in that space is not going to blossom or bloom. But most people I know have rescues and they love them and they're great. And I never in a million years would get a cat that wasn't a rescue.